In this video, we would like to see how we can use camel query on text field. So basically, we want to look for exact value like equals. If you're looking for contains the statements, begins with, less than, greater than, or even combining the conditions. In this video, I will explain a simple camel query structure. Then we go for searching for exact string. So basically, equals statement. Then we will search for part of the string, so basically pretty much a contains statement. The next part is going to be searching for a text starting with the search string, like begins with, and then it's going to be searching for less than or greater than search string. And in the end, we would like to combine search conditions together. In this demonstration, we are going to use SharePoint 2013 that is installed on VM. We are using custom SharePoint list. So this is just one list called demo list with one single column called title and whatever we do today we'll be doing on this column we're also using a simple web part that accepts camel query string in a text box and runs it against the list i've already built this small web part and i actually put it on the page so there's an execute button we put our camel query statement here and then we click on execute and we expect to see the result here and we are also using the visual studio enterprise xml editor by the way, I've already put a video together on how to build this web part and how to use the camel query coming from the user. So just look it up on YouTube and follow and you will have exactly the same application. Let's start with a simple camel query structure. This is the simplest camel query that I could put together. So basically a where statement that encloses the search criteria. Then we have a comparison at the moment, this comparison is equal to, but we are putting all those conditions for comparison here. The next element is going to be the SharePoint field, which is going to be a field in the list that we would like to search. The value to compare, that's going to be the string or value that we want to compare. Let's start with the searching for exact string. To do the search, I go to Visual Studio. I don't want to create a new project or something like that. I just go to the file and all I want to do, I want to use the Visual Studio XML editor to make my life a lot easier. So I start with searching for exact string. It's going to be like where and the condition EQ, the field the name of the field and the value. The value has a type. I would say text. For this video everything will be text. And the value that I want to compare, so I would say for example Toronto. I just copy it and bring it here. I just paste it here in this text box, click on execute, and it's showing me Toronto. Here's the code. Now we want to search for a part of the string, so basically that contains a statement. Let's see how it works. So again, we come back here where is the same statement. The only thing is that instead of EQ, I would say contains. So pretty much the same thing. The where to enclose our search criteria, the search, the kind of search that we want to do, which is going to be contains. Again, the field that you want to search and the name of the field and the value that we are looking for. But because it's a contains a statement, maybe I want to search for double T. Let's see how it goes. I just copy it and I get back to my web part. I paste it again here, click on execute, and it's gonna pick up two cities. Both of them contain double T. And here is the actual query. 
the where statement contains the field reference with the field name, the value with the type. Now we want to search for text starting with search string. So basically it begins with statement. Let's get back to our Visual Studio and see how it works. So instead of contains, I would say begins with And for the text, this time I'll be looking for OT. I just copy it, paste it again here, and I click on execute. So it's going to look up Ottawa. If I search for, for example, W, so it's going to pick up anything that starts with W. So let's take another look. Begins with field reference, the value, and the closing statement. Now we would like to search for less than or greater than search string. In this case, the only thing we need to do instead of begins with, I would say less than, or here, less than. And that's it. So basically the where statement, less than, title, and the value that we compare is Ottawa. So it's going so it's going to look up anything that is less than the value OT in the alphabetical sort order. I just bring it back here, paste it again here and click on execute and I would see everything that starts before character ONT. And this is the clean statement again. Finally, combining the search conditions using AND and OR, this is going to be quite easy. So the WHERE statement is the same thing. I have one condition like CONTAINS, I have another condition, and I'm combining these two conditions with the statement OR. Let's write it ourselves. So I have one condition here, give me anything that starts with OT. And I would say or and I would say contains as my search condition and that's going to be field reference name equals title and for the value, again I define a type which is going to be text and the value that I want to compare is going to be A. So anything that I'm looking for should start with anything before O and it should contain or it has to at least contain one character A. Let's see how it works. copy and I paste it in my web part and I click on execute. Let's take another look. We have where statement. We have our combination of the conditions. Now this time my combination is going to be or and after that I have one condition and then the second condition. At least one condition has to be true for every record to be listed in the search result. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, more videos are on the way.